hi guys how is everyone doing um this is just a quick little video it's not really a video it's just i just want to touch on something really serious it's about our spirituality and our souls this morning i got a call my cousin gave me a call this morning maybe after six o'clock it was rather strange because my cousin does not call me at that time so if you see her calling at that time hmm, you best believe there's something you know something is happening so when i saw her number i was like mm -mm, i wonder what's wrong now maybe you know i was thinking maybe something is wrong with my baby girl but i answered and i was like hey cuz what's up she was hollering guys she was bawling oh so and so just died that was my cousin just died and i was like what she said, yeah, he just died. So I said, okay, okay, I'll be there. You know, I, I'm going to be there. So I got confused. So when I hung up the phone, I was thinking to myself, he just died? How come he just died? He's a young guy. He's not sick, you know. There's no, under. he has no underlying issues, you know, that we know of. And that definitely he does not have coronavirus. So I was thinking to myself, uh uh, whoa. So I said, Lord, you know, so I started to get dressed like really, really quick. And I was, I was like confused. Like, f you know, at first I was confused. He died. How did he die? So I'm thinking to myself, you know, maybe he, he met in an accident or that's it. Cause he's not sick. He wasn't sick. Um, he's not a bad guy. You know, you know, somebody who is involved in any gang or anything like that. So unless it's like, maybe he got shot by the police or he died in an accident, you know, that's all I could think of. So I was like, okay, all right, let me hurry up and get dressed. So anyway, guy, guys, I got dressed and, you know, my best friend, you know, she, you know, we, we left, she took me because uh, I was, a, I was a little bit of, of a mess, you know, just thinking about how did he die, you know, anyway, so upon our, our arrival now, you know, he was still there the body was still there he was just laying there and just to give you you know info how he died he he felt sick and he died in his sleep he went out he went you know to see his friends because he went to work i was told that he went to work on thursday he came back he didn't go to work yesterday so yesterday he just he said he wanted to go out you know just to get some fresh air and then he went out you know went to go see his friends they say all he had to drink was a bottle of beer and he told them he wasn't feeling well so you know they took him you know home but when they took him home um he couldn't walk you know he they, they were saying he was unable to walk like and so they took him upstairs and they took him upstairs this is what you know they said and when he got home you know the rest of the family you know they proceeded to you know get him dressed because he had actually peed on himself so they changed him and you know put him to lay down and covered him and that was it he died in his sleep so you know it just it gave me a wake-up call when i got there i was like uh -uh. holy jesus i remember i had a talk with him like maybe six to seven weeks ago and i was like son you got to get your life right with God. He was like, cause I'm good. Cause I'm not doing anything bad. Cause I, I, I don't smoke. I drink. Yes. He drink heavily. Mm -hmm. He's a drinker. Very, very heavily. So he was like, cause I don't do anything bad. I, you know, I'm not cussing. I'm not fighting. I'm not stealing. I'm not. I said, you still need to get your life right with God. You know, we, you know, I was there and I was, you know, talking about, you know, God and, spirituality and stuff and he was you know keep saying because i'm okay and so and so and so so my point is while i was sitting there this morning i was looking at the body lying there i was saying to myself i ain't this something to the holy spirit i said we never know guys you know not the minute the hour nor the second when it's the last breath we'll be breathing we have no idea so we have to make it right and you know i was sitting there and i was looking and you know some of the family members they were crying and but and my my thought my thoughts was holy jesus i wow you know i wonder where his soul went like you know because remember guys death is final after death that's it according to the bible 
You see what I'm saying? So we have to make peace with God here and know for those of us who do believe in heaven and hell, we have to make peace with the Almighty right now. Because when the breath leaves our body, that's it. There's that is final. There's nothing more we can say. I would like to have uh, this morning. I was sitting there and I was looking. I said, "Oh God, I wish I could lobby for Him. You know, I wish I could say something to God for Him." You see what I'm saying? But we all know that that cannot happen. You know. So I was just sitting there and say, "Oh my Lord." And another thing, guys, let me tell you something. His friends, they were saying when he told them he wasn't feeling well, they offered to take him to the hospital. He totally declined. No, because mm -mm. that's how he is. He will sit there. He'll be feeling pain and he won't say a word. Absolutely not a word. You say you'll ask him, are you OK? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm good. He will not tell you, you know, typical men and guys for those for guys who are watching my channel or who will be watching my channel. Let me tell you something. You got to. Get rid of that preconceived notion that you have or had from way back when. You know that, oh, I don't want to go to the doctor. Oh, guys, hate doctor. We have to quit with that foolishness. You see what I'm saying? Because one trip can save your life. One trip. Because we're suspecting. We, we don't know yet. We're suspecting. Because they're saying he had left-sided weak, uh, weaknesses. He had numbness in his in his shoulder, his arms, and his and his his, his leg and all of that. So we're thinking maybe he had a stroke and then they said he vomited, he peed on himself. So, you know, we're just thinking maybe he had a stroke, but until, until the autopsy is done, it's inconclusive, you know? So I'm just thinking to myself, I said, guys be so stubborn. Men are so stubborn. They refuse to go get themselves checked out. Guys, let me tell you something. You have to go and get yourselves checked out. You have to go do a prelim or something, a physical, get your cholesterol checked, get your blood sugar checked, get your prostate. I cannot say that enough. Get your prostate checked. Just go have some checks done. Oh, go have some checks done. You see what I'm saying? It is better to be safe than to be sorry. Right? If you, like for me, <laughs> guys, they hate going to the doctor because according to them, the doctor is going to insert her two fingers up there but and they hate that but let me tell you something if she's going to do that and save your life it's worth it guys it's really really worth it you see what i'm saying so go get your checks done guys get ladies too we have to do that too we're a little bit more open to going to doctors and all of that and but guys are really stubborn because he was really really stubborn guys you know so my point is like we have to get ourselves ready he was only 42 he was 42 and loving life. So I'm saying nobody know the minute, the second we could be 40, 20, 10. It doesn't matter. We could be here. No, I can be sitting here. No, you don't see me again. We never know. So we have to get ourselves right with God. That's like, I cannot say that enough, guys. I cannot. I have seen things. This is my cousin who's so jovial. He's the life of the family, the life of the party, the life of whatever it is that we have going on. He's just the center of attraction, the life of it. And he's, he was a wonderful person. But in the end, that's all it was. That's all he was, a wonderful person. You see what I'm saying? Like for me, I am... I am I like it. I am deeply distressed when it comes to my family members, my bloodline, you know, like... I just need to know that we, we all make it into heaven because that's where I'm aiming to go. And I'm, I'm my family, I, I'm hoping that's where they're aiming to go too. So as I said, for those of us who do believe in heaven and earth, our heaven and hell, and hell, not earth, forget earth, we're here. For those of us who believe in heaven and hell, like, it's real and it's serious. Like, you know, after, uh, it, there's nothing you can do after. We got to make this our friend. Let the Bible be our friend. Let Jesus be our friend. Not even, you just, we, we, we need to be friends of God. You see what I'm saying? We have to spend time with him. Sometimes you can get an extension on your life, you know. Who was it who got an extension? Um, who was it? Who was it? LK? No, it wasn't LK, no. I don't remember who was, but guys, I'll tell you. We're going to do that. I'll tell you who got an extension. He got 15 years extension on his life. Yes. 
15 years, God gave him 15 years extension. If God gives you 15 years extension on your life, oh, that's a that's that's like a lifetime of blessing. That's like a hundred years for you to do to make it double right with God. You know, God. So this, guys, this is not even a video. This is just this is just like a wake up call for all of us here today, gone tomorrow. No one knows. None of us. We would like to say, oh, I, you know, I would like to know when I'm going to die, but we don't. And some people, some, you know, some persons are fortunate enough to just go to sleep and just never wake up. Some people, mm -mm. some people suffer. Some people have an idea. You know, so you never know. Some people actually, like for me, I, I, I like to say some people get an extension, you know, extended time to make it right. They've been diagnosed with, with this deadly disease and they live and they, two more years, five more years, ten more years, three more months, two more months. For me, that's borrowed time and that's time that we have to make it right with God. So guys, let's take all of this into consideration and make it right. Let's make our souls right. Let me tell you something, guys. Make peace. Whomever you have any issues with, go and make peace. Not for them, but for you or me. Because once the breath leaves the body, that's it. You cannot say, I'm sorry. You cannot say, I didn't mean to. So, with that being said, guys, this... Let me tell you, I don't know what to say about 2020. 2020 is just a different kind of year. Well, it's a leap year, but leap year normally comes with issues. But this one, oh, this one comes with a blast. And who knows? This might be our final year on this earth. We don't know. So we have the here and we have no right now. Let us make it right with the Holy Spirit. Call upon the name of Jesus. If you need to call him, he will answer you guys. I haven't cried. Because for me, I'm looking at the bigger picture. <laughs> I view death a different kind of way. I am just different when it comes to death. I prefer death over suffering. So, you know, somebody will die and you, you see me and I'm not crying because I'm happy that they die and they didn't suffer. No, that's not his case because he wasn't sick or he wasn't suffering or anything. He was a vibrant young man. But the angel of death came. She or she took him. So, guys, let's make peace. Let's make peace with God and everybody else who we have to make peace with. If you haven't made peace to make with your children, make it with your parents, make it with your co-worker, make it with your spouse, make it with your neighbor, whomever. Forgive and make peace. Because none of us knows when it's last, when we're going to take the last breath. So I urge you guys, I beseech you, Let's do it right. Let's do it right. Guys, be blessed. And stay focused. Spend time with God. Have a good evening, guys. Bye-bye.